Hello and welcome everyone to this week's COT Review. I'm Thomas from cotbase.com. Today we're going to have a look at the 43rd COT Report of 2015. And as usual, we're going to start off with the changes in commercials position. So here we go. As you may see, we've got the euro on top of our list with a 28% change in commercials positions. You can see the change size over here being much larger than average, possibly the greatest change in the past 52 weeks time range. There was a similar change size, but in the opposite direction back over here, and you can see how effective how effective that signal was so here we have a bullish cot change signal possibly pushing prices a bit higher in the near future the five years chart is going to show us how extreme this market is you may see that we are uh basically not at an, uh, a serious extreme uh there's uh, plenty of space uh to reach bearish uh, or even bullish cot extreme levels so what's important to see is the last major cot extreme signal and that was a bullish one uh, a few months ago and you may see how uh how well prices uh, uh reacted to that signal uh even though in the past uh, two weeks we we see we've seen a bit of a decline doesn't mean that uh it's going to be con it would continue the last major cot extreme tells us uh, a story more about a rally uh that could continue of course in the next uh, couple of months even the next market is the Japanese yen, where we have a 26% change in commercials position. You may see the change size over here, larger than average, but we do see greater changes. Again, bullish uh, change signal, possibly affecting uh, the Japanese yen in the next few days. Moving on to the five years chart, here we go. You can see how extreme this market is. We've moved away from those serious bullish COT extreme levels. We didn't see a significant or that too significant uh, reaction from price. A bit of a rise, uh, but nothing too serious. Uh, and uh, we haven't really reached those uh, extreme bearish levels yet. Uh, although the picture, if you look at the last, let's say two and a half, three years time range is definitely more bearish extreme wise uh, than bullish. The Chicago wheat is our next market with 25% change in commercials positions. Uh, it is a bearish COT chain signal coming after a bullish one last week. You can see bullish uh, chain signal affecting price as well. Uh, question is, of course, would this bearish uh, push the prices uh, a bit back uh, downwards? A five years chart, here we go, can tell us how extreme this market is. And you can see that we are moving closer to bullish COT extreme levels. Uh, last uh, uh, major or a bit larger extreme was a bearish COT extreme and you can see how effective that was pushing prices back down now we've uh, gone back to bullish levels and uh, as we have you can see prices again steadily uh, going higher and higher moving on to large speculator COT extreme we can find silver on top of a list with a 550 report extreme uh, in large speculators, 380 report extreme in commercials. So these are definitely very, very large uh, extremes to talk about. And of course, uh, we can expect prices to go uh, down from here because of course this is a bearish COT uh, extreme uh, signal, no question about that, even though uh, we have prices uh, at these levels, uh, it can signal that uh, prices may go even even lower sugar our next market with a 68 report extreme uh, opening the five years chart here we go you can see the extreme uh, on a wider time frame and this again shows us a more bearish uh, cot extreme picture uh, after reaching these uh, bit higher levels in price we may expect this to end uh, in the upcoming few uh, weeks maybe and last but not least, we've got platinum with a 38 report extreme, so not a, a not a huge extreme, uh, not really an extreme to talk about. But anyhow, that's in the list. Uh, so we've opened the market. Uh, we were at more bullish extreme levels in the past few weeks, uh, and in the last couple of weeks, we've seen a, a bit of a rise in price. Uh, and as we've uh, we've witnessed that, the uh, extreme has gone back. Uh, towards bearish levels, but of course nothing, any, nothing, anything serious. So there's not a real um, COT extreme situation in platinum right now that we can talk about. That's the case in platinum. Okay, that is going to be all for this review. Of course, if you would like to have a look at other COT charts, you may do so at our COT charts page. 
if you would like to have more in-depth and detailed CO2 analysis and of course the CO2 analysis page that we are at the moment is the page you should be looking at. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.